Hi. So, in this video, I am going to show you how to make a God's Eye. So, it's pretty simple. You're going to need, well, two sticks. In my case, I'm going to use chopsticks. People, like, including myself, I use dowels, chop, popsicle sticks, not chop, chopsticks, using this. And you can use them in like a variety of, of sizes. Uh, and you can use like stuff like twigs and basically anything that you can wrap wrap the yarn with. So, and so what you're going to do is take your two two pieces and make a cross like a plus sign like so and then you get your choice of yarn this is emerald by the by Bern Bernat Handicrafter cotton this is four so there's you could use thin, thick, whatever type of wool you would want. And you can also make God size with multiple colors just by tying the new color onto the old and cutting and then continue continuing on. I'll, I can show closer to the end of this how to do that. Just looking at the colors that I have, I can grab. Okay, so. Now, some people will tape or glue the two sticks together. I don't. It just, like, interferes with it and interferes with, like, the process. And it's a little more, like, fun if, by doing it like this, like, almost like free free hands freestyling freestyling it cuz sometimes you're not going to get it might be like a little off kilter or like you might not you might get like more yarn on this side and then that but it makes it the god side more unique so what i'm going to do is just hold the piece of yarn on top of the middle of the two sticks and what I'm going to do to secure the yarn in the two the two sticks together in replacement of the like glue or tape is doing a wrap so I'm not going to just start off on the God's eye process so I'm just going to do something like that so you kind of have almost like an X and it's almost like weaving holding it into place and so now I'm going to begin the process of wrapping the yarn on onto each stick and how I'm gonna be looking at it is from the back of the god size, some people how they would do it. This will become the front of the god size, and some people will work it so that they are seeing the front. But how I end up doing it is I'm seeing the back of the god size, and more at the beginning. You can still. You can still kind of like adjust the position of the sticks like you can kind of see me doing that now like a few times already but you are going in a circular motion of the yarn And so, like, you can always adjust the, you can, 
the yarn because sometimes you can see spaces in the craft but you can always push that down when you're still doing it so So I'm just getting a little, uh, I pick, I've picked up the pace on doing this. I have made over a thousand of these, nearly 2,000. <laughs> more, I, more than, I think a few people will like me to admit, but you're basically going under, over, and then you're going like that, over, and doing the same process on each on each end of the stick. So again, and you can see that this is more of the back, and you will be. This would be the front. Some people would. Some people might might use this as the front, but a lot more of the times you'll see this as the front. And so you continue on just like so. And so if you want to add another color to this, so saying I want to add this purple to it. Find what I'm going to do is Not it on and then so now I can cut that and then I can cut that access off and then I can continue on and like you would just want to kind of adjust where the knot is of the new color because if you don't fully do it you would see the spacing of it and the and you don't really want to you want it to almost be like a seamless introduction of the color so and you just continue on doing like the weaving or whatever you want to call it of the yarn and like you can add as like if you want to do more colors you can if you just want to do one single one you don't have to add any colors it can just be if you just wanted this color you can have just that color into it but I'm just showing the introduction of another color if you are interested in doing it. So. You could end here, and if you wanted to add some like accessories or whatever to it, like you could, but I usually like to fill it up as much as I can. I likely won't be able to do too much because this this chopstick is, is um you can see very is almost like tipped so. I won't get be able to get too much more onto that before going a little weird, 
And I, as you can see, I got it pretty, them pretty much even. So, I'm going to do a few more go-arounds with the purple. Okay, so I'm going, just going to end it there, where I introduced the color. So, how I top it, like how I finish it, is... I go around a few times, like so. I cut off a, about, say, like about that much. And what I'll do, I'll also I'll also not To keep it into place and now I'm gonna make a loop how I am doing my loop is actually like you can actually move it so what I do so I'm gonna make it say that length so what I'm gonna do is just over and kind of under and then pull over under and then pull a few times and then I'm going to cut off some of the excess because I didn't need that and so I have something that looks like that and so I can adjust the loop. So if you do it this way, you can have an adjustable loop to hang your god's eye, and this would be what yours may turn out like, or something similar to this. And so I'm just going to show you two of like two other examples that I have made so there's this, this is one color, this is just both of these are a set of one type of wool as you can see but it's more of an ombre kind of yarn so this is called Moon Dance, and I think this is Crown Jewels now these are also by Bernard Handicrafter Cotton. So it, I just like how these are done, and these are just on a these are done on slightly different chopsticks. And again, you can use things like dowels or popsicle sticks or twigs or whatever you want to use as holders for the yarn to make the god's eye. So yeah, that is how you make a godsai. Happy readings!